Number 15. Man-Made Viruses Stephen Hawking suggests that one of the ways the world could end is through genetically engineered viruses, which could extinguish swaths of people. For instance, in 2011, a Dutch research team mutated the H5N1 virus, aka the bird flu virus, into one that was even more infectious. The genetic structure of the virus was mutated only five times, but had the potential to contaminate far more people than ye old bird flu, because through these mutations, the virus had been made airborne. In fact, estimates claimed an airborne bird flu could potentially infect more than half of the global population, being that more than half of bird flu victims of that pandemic ended up dead. The destructive potentiality of man-made viruses is very real and very deadly. Apart from these man-made viruses being weaponized for bio-warfare, a lab accident could also result in an infectious mega man-made virus that could destroy us all. While well, one might suggest to simply stop doing such research that pits man against mutated viruses, this research also demonstrates the capabilities of the virus. In this case, the H5N1 virus was found to be transmittable from mammal to mammal. With this knowledge, scientists can preemptively work towards vaccines and perhaps prevent these viruses mutating in such ways. Needless to say, Stephen Hawking is absolutely right to worry about this, and you probably should too. Number 14 AI the world ending due to the advancement of artificial intelligence is another of Hawking's theories. According to an open letter endorsed by Hawking and signed by a number of AI and robotics researchers, artificial intelligence or AI technology has reached a point where the deployment of such systems is, practically if not legally, feasible within years, not decades, and the stakes are high. Autonomous weapons have been described as the third revolution in warfare after gunpowder and nuclear arms. The letter goes on to explain that autonomous weapons, lower the threshold for going to battle, and that advancing AI weapon development will lead to a global arms race, as the raw materials to build such weapons are inexpensive and easy to obtain. They can be mass produced by any major military power, unlike nuclear weapons. Dictators, warlords, terrorists, and black market traders will all be able to produce them and buy them and must say, populations will be more easily subdued, assassinations and ethnic cleansings carried out and nations destabilized by AI technology. Autonomous weapons will become the Kalashnikovs of tomorrow. It also suggests that AI can be put to better use by making battlefields safer, particularly for civilians, but should not be used to construct new death tools. Just as most chemists and biologists have no interest in building chemical or biological weapons, most AI researchers have no interest in building AI weapons, the letter puts forth. Hawking also says that while humanity and technology continues to progress, staying on top of the dangers presented by science and technology advancements is imperative to humanity's survival. Number 13. Superhumans Imagine if you had the capacity to choose your own genes. You could choose to be the smartest, the strongest, the most beautiful, the most agile, and physically fit. You'd probably choose all of the above. No harm in that, right? Now imagine an army of genetically modified superhumans who are all of these things. Suddenly, the thought doesn't seem so non-threatening. Stephen Sho, Vice President for Research and Graduate Studies at Michigan State and an advisor to BGI, formerly Beijing Genomics Institute, is in the process of developing super smart humans. BGI is sequencing the genomes of 2,000 of the world's most intelligent people to be used in genetic modification experiments. Of the project, Sho states, we can be confident that, whatever it means, ability of this kind will far exceed the maximum ability among the approximately 100 billion total individuals who have ever lived. We can imagine savant-like capabilities that might be present all at once, nearly perfect recall of images and language, super fast thinking and calculation, powerful geometric visualization, even in higher dimensions, the ability to execute multiple analysis or traits of thought in parallel at the same time, the list goes on. Human germ-like engineering involves constructing new traits that one can inherit by meddling with the genes in the egg and the sperm. It could theoretically make a whole species that's as intelligent as Stephen Hawking, as fit as Serena Williams, as stupidly beautiful as Angelina Jolie. It could create men and women with superhuman strength and mind. The DNA of these superhumans may require that they only breed with other superhumans, with one species supremely superior to the other. Natural selection may determine that regular old humans are no longer needed. After our species becomes extinct, superhuman modifications may be the result of survival of the fittest. While this may not destroy the entire world, it would destroy all of humankind, leaving a synthetically designed superhuman species to take our place in the hierarchy. Number 12. TMI 
Although having too much information may seem irritating, but not world ending, information overload is, in fact, one of the ways the world could end in a hundred years. As outlined by futurist Ray Kurzweil, the moment we reach information overload, the lines between human and machine intelligence will blur. Technological progress will accelerate to a point of no return, but does that necessarily mean the world will end? Although there may not be a cataclysmic implosion, the way humans relate to the world most certainly will end. With the capability to transfer man's mind to a computer, death will become null and void. Forget all you think you know about the world, the machine-human morph will strip all of that away and will all be in an entirely different element. The human-machine hybrid will evolve to the point that it becomes an entirely different species, one whose lifeblood is technology. Perhaps the remaining Homo sapiens can simply unplug the hybrids before they overpower us, return to the Dark Ages, and start anew, or perhaps their new high-functioning homo singular friends will discover a method to stay powered on without electricity and will destroy their techless comrades. Who knows what lies ahead? Kurzweil seems to, and as he claims our doomsday is set for 2045, holy Moses, that's well under 100 years. Save yourselves while well you can. That's Control s for Windows, Command-Shift-S for Mac. Number 11, Vacuum Collapse. Science fiction writers have a keen sense for predicting the future. Kurt Vonnegut is one of them. Vonnegut wrote of Ice-9 in his book, Cat's Cradle. Ice-9 is a stable form of water that's solid at room temperature. The problem is a tiny bit of Ice-9 was capable of turning the rest of the water on Earth into the same. With a sudden freezing over of the entire globe's worth of water, the result could be catastrophic. Although Ice-9 is fictional, it was based on a real-life theory. According to a cosmological model, the universe was once empty space, filled with energy and known as a false vacuum. As with the Ice-9 concept, a more stable vacuum came into being and soon absorbed it creating a huge amount of energy that resulted in a short-lived expansion of the universe. Now imagine that an even more stable vacuum appears in our universe. The result would be bubbles of this vacuum popping up and dispersing at the speed of light. While the universe cools and expands, along with this change in vacuum would come a change in the laws of physics. This means that all could be destroyed with a single blast of energy. While it may be unlikely, I'm going with Vonnegut on this one. Number 10. Gamma Ray Burst Gamma rays are defined as penetrating electromagnetic radiation of a kind arising from the radioactive decay of atomic nuclei. Gamma ray bursts are strong energy explosions that can last from milliseconds to hours and are the absolute brightest electromagnetic occurrences known to man. Astronomers have observed them in distant galaxies. The gamma ray burst flashes, after which an afterglow of radio, microwave, infrared, optical, x-ray, and ultraviolet wavelengths expands. Gamma ray bursts most often happen during a supernova, which is when a very large star explodes to form either an neutron, or quark star, or a black hole, the burst releases intense radiation, which has the potential to destroy planet Earth if it happens too close for comfort. While well, those gamma ray bursts that have been observed are actually billions of light years away, the fact that we can see them for such a distance demonstrates just how powerful they are and how much energy is released. In fact, it's estimated that in just the few seconds that the burst occurs, it releases as much energy as the sun does over 10 billion years. No gamma ray bursts have been observed inside the Milky Way galaxy, but if one should occur in the Milky Way, a mass extinction event could result. Number 9. Asteroid Attack Although the movie Armageddon made it seem almost easy for oil drillers to become astronauts who saved the world, Bruce Willis might not step in to destroy an asteroid in a real-life attack. This isn't just as seen on TV garbage. Asteroids have collided with the Earth's atmosphere and will likely do so again. In fact, a comet that spanned 200 feet did just that in 1908 somewhere over Siberia, Russia. It exploded so powerfully that its destructive energy was almost 1,000 times that of the A-bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Such asteroids shake our world nearly every third century. According to some astronomers' estimates, when they do, civilizations are impacted as happened in 15th century China, when an asteroid is said to have wiped out nearly 10,000 people in Qiyang Yang. Every 250,000 years, an asteroid spanning a half a mile strikes the Earth, and this is where civilization as we know it could end. Such impact would produce major firestorms and then severe global cooling, which is caused by the kickup of dust from the impact. Remember the ice age that ended the dinosaurs? That may have been caused by an asteroid. Before you head to Home Depot to gather supplies for your rocket ship, 
cool your jets just one minute. Most asteroids that do collide with Earth's atmosphere make impact over our oceans, and those that occur over land aren't likely to happen over populated regions, so the potential that you'll ever be personally affected by an asteroid is next to none, but if you are, it will be the last thing you know. Number 8. Cyber Terrorism Many of the events on this list are tech-related. And that's because we've become so dependent upon technology that its potential for destroying civilization as we know it is high, if not inevitable. To add to the list is cyber terrorism. Cyber terrorism uses the web to provoke violence, with intent to either threaten individuals or groups or intimidate them. Cyber terrorism includes the large scale disruption of networks using computer viruses or other tools, according to William L. Tafoya, PhD, an FBI cyber terror specialist. Acts of cyber terror impact society, even the nation, not just individuals, the business sector, or government agencies. If cyber terrorism was to come to a head, it would affect individuals, nations, and the entire world by destroying a nation's critical infrastructure. The panicked fallout from such an attack may result in an every man for himself deathscape, a la McCormack's The Road. Number 7 World War Z While a zombie apocalypse may not be a realistic threat, this list highlights the ways the world could end, not how it will end. An all out war with the living dead, as seen on TV, is one way the world may meet its maker. If you've watched any of the zombie movies slash TV shows or played video games, you know that no matter how slow this enemy combatant is, they're still more than capable of taking out our less than brilliant human population. Especially since no matter how many zombie shows are put out, most people still don't seem to know how to kill the buggers. This is why if we were to face a zombie battle, a good percentage of the population would be exterminated pretty quickly, adding to the enemy's numbers. Soon the zombie experts, although armed with the knowledge of how to kill the walking dead, would be outnumbered and overwhelmed, making any effort to combat the zombies entirely pointless. But don't give up. Resisting a zombie uprising isn't pointless. As we so often see on these movies, TV shows, and video games, there are ways to defeat them. There are ways outlined in the CDC's Guide for Zombies Preparedness. That's right, the Center for Disease Control has put out a prep guide for potential zombie attacks. While the guide is somewhat ironic, the purpose was to define the steps to take in preparation for basically every other potential threat, whether pandemic, natural disaster, or terrorist attack. So preparing for the worst, even if the likelihood of a zombie attack is low, will prepare you for nearly any worst case scenario doomsday that may lie ahead. Number 6. A-Bomb Times 100 while nuclear war is more realistic than World War Z, many people who once lived in a very real fear of atom bombs now seem to have forgotten all about them. After two A-bombs were dropped during World War II, the catastrophic result of nuclear war on a broader scale was realized. Although nuclear war has been one possible way the world could end ever since scientists discovered how to purify uranium-235, a nuclear holocaust has not seemed an epic threat since the end of the Cold War. Now however, with tensions between the US and Russia, two of the world's new capable superpowers, on the rise, fear of nuclear war and the potential wiping out of the entire world population is, again, in the air. Russia and the US aren't the only ones who possess nuclear weapons. China, France, the United Kingdom, India, North Korea, and Pakistan are also nuclear capable among others, and only five of these countries are members of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, which safeguards the risk of weaponizing nuclear power. North Korea's attempts at becoming one of the big boys on the national stage were once laughable, but lately their showmanship has grown increasingly threatening to its neighbors, particularly South Korea and Japan, as the Kim Jong-un-led totalitarian nation continues to conduct missile tests and build upon their nuclear potential. If the world was faced with nuclear war, what would happen? Well, while Physics Today painted a picture in 2008 of what that might look like, the consequences of such an eventuality include nuclear winter, which could result in the lowest temperatures in thousands of years, exterminating the entire human population, along with all the other side effects of nuclear war, i.e. fatal third-degree burns, radiation poisoning, enormous fires and large amounts of smoke, lands inability to grow produce, etc. Just 100 nuclear bombs could end us, and reportedly more than 15,000 nuclear weapons are ready to be launched. Yikes. Number 5. Space Colony Attack most colonies don't like to be colonized by colonists, 
So why would space colonies be any different? The first American space station, Skylab, is one mild example of that exact predicament. Its crews didn't like their working conditions, so they went on strike. While the strike was resolved, consider the possibility that self-sustaining colonies might become violent towards their oppressors and decide to put an end to them. These colonies could attack Earth through bioweapons or other means without consequence to themselves. While the odds are low that this will happen at this point, the potential for political and social separation between a future self-sustaining space colony and its founding nation is almost inevitable. Let's just hope it doesn't lead to the extinction of the entire human race on Earth. Number 4. Biological Warfare Biological warfare involves using biological toxins or infectious viruses, bacteria, or fungi as weapons. The intention is to kill or disease humans, plants, and animals during war. With the development and use of bioweapons and the uptick in bioterrorism, biological warfare is one of the more terrifying ways the world could end in a hundred years. Biological warfare is not new. In the 6th century BC, poisonous fungus was poured by the Assyrians into the walls of their enemies in order to make them delirious. In 1763, the British army provided blankets to the Native Americans that were infested with smallpox. The disease spread, weakening their resistance. During World War I, Imperial Germany partook in biological sabotage using glanders and anthrax. And in World War II, Imperial Japan conducted deadly experiments on its prisoners, the aim being to produce bioweapons to be used against its enemies in combat. The resulting use against Chinese soldiers and civilians is terrifying. The Japanese Army Air Force dropped ceramic bombs filled with bubonic plague-infested fleas on Ningbo in 1940. It's estimated that around 400,000 people were killed by the Japanese bioweapons during World War II. Stockpiles of bioweapons exist today and are still in use. Most recently, the UN has accused Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's government of attacking civilians with chemical weapons. Such use can effectively knock out entire populations, making biological warfare a potential be-all end-all to civilization as we know it. Number 3. Global Warming while there are plenty of climate change deniers, many of the world's leading scientists say that the greatest threat Earth faces today is global warming. NASA's website states, The heat-trapping nature of carbon dioxide and other gases was demonstrated in the mid-19th century. Their ability to affect the transfer of infrared energy through the atmosphere is the scientific basis of many instruments flown by NASA. There is no question that increased levels of greenhouse gases must cause the Earth to warm in response. Not only will climate change make weather more extreme and severe, it will cause cause polar caps to melt, submerge coastal regions and the resultant rising waters, allow for a faster spread of infectious diseases, and cause droughts and famine in some regions and ecosystem collapses in others. With ocean levels estimated to rise as much as 300 feet, many of the world's most populated cities will be below sea level. These are areas where 75% of the world's population lives. All of these changes could result in political and economic instability. And that's not all we have to worry about. The world could get hot, and I mean really hot hot sweltering, hence the title. Global warming would speed up the evaporation of water, which traps heat and jacks up temps. It'll be more than a sauna here on Earth. Some experts suggest that regular temps could reach as high as 900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Venus-like levels. Don't worry, the human species won't live long enough to experience that hot, hot heat. In fact, if temperatures on Earth rise by only 6%, nearly every life form will be wiped out. Unfortunately, the world isn't doing enough to curb the direction of global warming. Scientists at the I IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, stated there's actually a chance we could exceed that 6% by 2100. Only a 5% chance, but still, goodbye cruel world. Number 2. Global Famine Food supply shortage is already a threat for populations all over the world, so what if it becomes a global threat? Drought and heat waves can produce crop shortages and loss everywhere. If weather or something else like biological warfare cut short the global food supply, the results could be tantamount to the Hunger Games. Preppers often focus on stockpiling food in their underground cellars and putting some time into learning home gardening techniques. Even FEMA suggests that every family should stockpile a two-week supply for every family member. According to worldhunger.org, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization estimates that about 795 million people of the 7.3 billion people in the world, or 1 in 9, were suffering from chronic undernourishment in 2014 to 2016. That potential for 1 in 9 to increase to 9 in 9 is unlikely, but not impossible. As mentioned, many of the events on this list could lead to food shortage or famine, so it would be smart to be prepared for the possibility. 
Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Number 1. Domino Effect more likely than any one of these singular scenarios is a domino effect that encapsulates many of the apocalyptic happenings in a row. Joseph Miller, co-author of the textbook Biology, says that the world's end isn't likely to happen in a flash, like being attacked by a saber-toothed tiger. Instead, he thinks it's more likely to be nibbled to death by ducks. I'm not sure which is worse, a slow death by duck nibbling or a clean kill by a saber-toothed tiger, many scientists agree that rather than a kill-all catastrophe, the Earth will more likely slowly degrade until sustaining life on this planet is impossible. While that thought is not altogether comforting, at least you can go to bed tonight knowing that the Earth will likely be here tomorrow. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!